What's up guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be rescaping and moving my platy tank back up to the level that it was on. So let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of the water out of this platy tank here and then I'm going to put it into the clear bin just here on the floor in my room. So what I'm basically doing is put, taking water out of this tank here and putting half of it into the bin so I can uh, drain the tank completely and put the tank back up onto its original stand. So let's get on with it. So as you can see, I've taken out roughly about half of the water and it's all into that clear bin now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my nets. Uh, I'm going to take some of the bits out first just so it's easier to net them. And then I'm going to pop them into the bin there so it's all nice and safe. So as you can tell, all the fish are now in the bucket and they are looking really good in there. It's weird to see them actually outside of the tank looking all clear in there. But the tank is all empty now and that's now going to be put up to there into its original spot, which where it looked proper good. Because it's not that bad, is it? No, it's not. Right, so we... Yeah. Right. The magicians, man. Oh, you right there? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's just be 100% before you So, guys, I've cleaned the glass fully and I've given the bottom a bit of a siphon, so I've cleaned it as much as I can, but look at the state of this. It's absolutely horrendous. Before I put any ornaments in there, what I'm planning on doing is I'm just filling up a couple of buckets and I'm gonna empty them into here to fill it up about halfway. So then the rest of the water that's in this bucket here can go back in the tank. So it's already got cycled water in there. Guys, I finally got half of the water in it, as you can see. Uh, half the water is filled up now. It's a little bit murky at the moment, but give it a while with that filter on, it will be amazing. It's a bit murky at the moment and you probably can't see anything but it is all in there and set up now you might be able to see it a bit clearer from above here i've made a few more like places for them to actually be able to swim so i wanted more open space as i know there's obviously a lot more fish in there now uh, especially with the babies and everything so that is the design so far what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up the camera once the uh, filter's been running for a bit so you can see it fully clean with the fish back in it so guys it is a few days later and i wanted to give the tank a full chance to clear up fully before i showed you it what it looks like now but let me show you how insane it looks right now so this is it it looks absolutely insane i mean just absolutely awesome i've left it and the filters cleared all the muck up inside the fish are doing absolutely perfect the water could not be clearer right now which is great uh, the babies are all doing good in there. You can see them swimming about. It just looks insane. So it won't be long until I release the babies into the tank with all the other fish. Uh, but they do have to get a little bit bigger, roughly about the size, so they can't fit in the adult mouth pretty much of the fish. So that's going to happen. But let's roll some. Uh, let's roll some nice shots of the tank, shall we? <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please go down below and subscribe and join the crew if you haven't already. And join the fish family that we have on this channel. And please also like this video if you enjoy and do like where the new Platy Tank is. I absolutely love where it is. I love how the fish also like the new layout. It gives them more space to swim around. I just love it. But a question I've been asked before is about water changes and also it's about how to keep water clear. And obviously a big part of that is keeping up with your water changes on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Now, I met someone called Mark at MW Aquatics on Instagram. I'll link his uh, Instagram page down below. Pause this video right now, go click on the link and please go follow Mark. He's an awesome dude and gives you a lot of great tips. 
but I'm gonna pass over to him right now where he's gonna show you at home how to do your own water changes, but perfectly and the great things and best things to use for it. So I'm gonna pass over to Mark and he's gonna show you how to do the best water change on your aquarium at home. Hi guys, it's Mark from MW Aquatics and I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step guide of how I clean my five foot planted sand for Hacker Tank. So these are some of the items that I use to maintain the tank. Long hose, siphon, water pump to extract the water out of the tank. Most importantly, water conditioner, algae prevent, plant nourishment and root tabs. A net, which I'll come back to later, magic sponges, aquascape tools and also a bag. So you can see my filtration system is an FX4 and a Tetra 650. So to start, what we need to be doing is turn the filters off, which I find is a lot better than leaving them running because it can cause motor damages in the filter. Now, when cleaning your sand, this is what you don't want to be doing. The more you plunge in, the more sand you're going to get through, which you don't want. It's just not going to pick up any debris and it's just going to clog up the sand. Now, this is what you need to be doing, hovering over the sand and just slightly lifting the sand which will get rid of any debris that's rested on the sand. Now what I find good with my Fahaka as he does leave a lot of big poops is literally scoop out with a net, gently shake so it doesn't cause too much disruption to the tank and you'll be able to get rid of all them big debris that you siphon won't pick up. Connect the hose to the pump and let the pump do all the hard work for you. Drain away. Luckily I've got a flower bed outside the back window so all that nutrients from that water is going straight out the window straight onto some plants. So as you can see here, I'm using something called a magic sponge. You can pick them up on Amazon for a pack of 12 for about eight pound. I find these really good. They pick up every single last debris on the glass. Even them stubborn stains that you struggled sometimes to get off, these will definitely get off. You, all you have to do is rinse them off once you've finished and reuse. I normally change them every month or so, but it's entirely up to you. And this is everything that is picked off from the tank. Give your plants a little shake just to get any debris off, any poo, any food, or even any sand. Now this is something that I do once a month. Clip in, just clip off the dead ends of the flowers and the plants just to give it a little bit more, at least a life, and it will get rid of all that horrible brownness. Now the refill, connect the hose, and off you go. Now the last important thing, add the water conditioner as it's one of the most important bits in doing your aquarium maintenance. And there you have it, that's how I clean my tank. Any questions you've got regarding the process or any questions you've got regarding any maintenance of your tank, feel free to drop a comment below.